Well, good morning, my friends, and uh, once again, thank you for taking this opportunity to join me. It's obviously very early in the morning here. Again, I'm trying to do my very best to keep it down while the uh, wife sleeps in the other room. Uh, today is Wednesday, October the 31st, 2018, and again, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, uh, Shy Town Zone, as always, again. Um, to those of you looking to uh, keep up on further breaking news or updates, if we happen to have any, again, uh, do feel free to subscribe. Um, again, today being October the 31st, 2018, again, happy Halloween to many of you again. Um, planning to do uh, a few things once I get off of, uh, once I get off work. Later on this afternoon again, uh, today being my wife's birthday, I'm planning to uh, treat her out to uh, dinner. We're going to come home, probably watch a couple of, uh, you know, fun but scary movies. But um, it should be a pretty interesting night to say the least, uh, given today being my wife's birthday on uh, the night of Halloween. Uh, for so many of you again, I do hope everyone has a blessed one again. But I just like to start off with scripture here in the uh, book of Matthew, chapter, uh, what is it, 18 verses 19, where Jesus went on to say here in the book of Matthew, chapter 18 verses 19, excuse me, where he went on to say again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For, or it goes on to say here in verses 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there at a midst of, in the midst of them, of course. And of course, uh, you know, to all of my saints, I'm calling on all of my prayer warriors again to uh, continue to keep you know, everyone in your prayers, I was, we are no more than six days away to the midterm elections again. And, uh, you know, with the midterm elections, it would decide on who's going to be taking the uh, Senate. And, you know, it, with the way things are looking, according to Fox News polls right now, um, it's now a tight race between the uh, Republican and Democratic Party, as many of you may know again. But we're praying that the uh, Republican Party can take the Senate um, you know, given the uh, circumstances, uh, I know many of you have, you know, may have not have voted yet. So for those of you who have not got out there and voted, you know, I urge you to please get out there and do so. Uh, it's the only way you could let your voice be heard again by, you know, getting out there and casting your vote. You know, it's extremely important to get out there and vote. Otherwise, as far as, you know, I'm concerned and anyone else's, you, you don't have a say so in any of this again. But um, but that's just my honest opinion with the uh, matter at hand. But again, with so much going on, we really need to pray again because, you know, we know without any shadow of a doubt that, you know, we're living in very serious times again. And with so much talk of the possibility of civil war looming in the air, there's no telling what's going to happen come uh, November 6th. But we really need to pray, my friends, again, as uh, many of you may know, uh, actor James Cromwell, as many of you may know, a well-prominent actor um, who is well-known in uh, many of his films, again, has gone on to uh, call, according to uh, Fox News here, as again, where I primarily go to for my news, uh, where it goes on to read, uh, character actor James Cromwell honored at the fourth annual Carney Awards, where he used his platform to call for change in the United States and warns of violence if President Trump and his allies remain in office. Cromwell has noted character actor known for role in projects such as Babe, The Green Mile, and Big Hero 6. Broadway Empire, an American horror story, is also a political activist who worked with the organizations such as People for the Electoral Treatment of Animals, he frequently has been arrested for his role on planned and peaceful protests at places like SeaWorld and a natural gas power plant in New York. But again, we do know that actor uh, James Cromwell has gone on to state that if the uh, Republican Party should win the midterm, again, there's, there's going to be bloodshed in the streets. Uh, they are expecting, there to, expecting to be riots and things of that sort. 
So, but again, we are praying that uh, that doesn't happen regardless of the outcome of the situation. Well, we know that Trump has even gone on to state that there is going to be violence if they don't win this. But, you know, either way, you know, this is not looking good for many of us or many of others who, you know, it depends on what uh, political party you side with. But again, this is not looking good at all. Whether or not, you know, there's going to be fighting in the streets, uh, I really can't tell you whether or not there will. But again, we do pray for peace. We pray for the uh, safety of others again, as we know that this is nothing again but the um, works of the devil, my friends. Uh, we really need to pray again. You know, let's pray for our president as always. Um, where again, I'm sure many of you are, you know, very, very upset with what you just recently heard from the uh, so-called reverend, as I call him, um, Al Sharpton. You know, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't deserve to even be called, you know, a reverend or anything less as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, referring to Al Sharpton, in my honest opinion, is like referring to uh, mass murderer uh, Jeffrey Dahmer as a chef. And, you know, if anybody thinks, you know, Rever you know, excuse me, Al Sharpton stands for anything good. You're sorely mistaken, my friends. Again, uh, you know, he's a, he's, you know, he's a money, you know, he, he's all about the money, my friends. You know, he doesn't really care about the black community or, you know, he's, he, he only comes when he feels it's appropriate again. You know, he's the same guy, you know, you know, a couple of years back, as many of you may know, led an angry group of activists through the streets of New York as they were shouting, they want dead cops now. And then no more than a day or two later, uh, two new, two of uh, New York City's finest were viciously gunned down while sitting in their uh, squad car again. And, uh, you know, I don't condone any of this. And I certainly don't condone violence in any way or means. But again, um, you know, many of you may know who Al Sharpton is again. Um, he's gone on to uh, state here in a video, I mean, where he's gone on to call many, as many of you may remember, just the other day where a large sum group of uh, young black leadership members came to the White House, about three to uh, 400 of them, to uh, visit with Trump and um, get to meet with him and discuss, you know, certain topics with him or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, Al Sharpton was on, um, you know, what was it, MSNBC the other night calling this a prompt, you know, referring to, you know, many of the uh, youth or that were there as being paid to be there. And, of course, it, you know, it really upset a few people. Of course, it, it upset uh, Brandon Tatum, you know, the young man, the young guy who, um, should I say, organized this uh, this gathering again where he even went on to say in one of his videos, where I encourage you to go and visit him on his YouTube channel, that he wasn't expecting any of them to be wearing mega hats when they got off the plane to meet with him. But again, they all were, and they all had the greatest opportunity to get to meet with uh, President Trump again. But, uh, you know, many of us all heard again what, you know, Al Sharpton had to say about this group again, and, you know, pretty much calling them a bunch of sellouts and sitting there saying that this is the lowest that Trump has ever gone again by taking photos with them. And, you know, it you know, it just goes to show what the left is willing to do to, you know, go to another low, you know, their selves more or less. Because why, you know, it doesn't fit their narrative to call Trump a racist because, you know, let's take, you know, Don Lemon a while back. Just recently, he had a guest on his show you know, where, you know, they were discussing the, uh, you know, Kanye West visit to the White House where he was discuss he was uh, discussing many important topics, even the uh, violence in Chicago and reform that we need here. And, you know, the guests even had the nerve to, uh, you know, refer to Kanye West as a token Negro for, you know, speaking with Trump again. But uh, I heard another guy that was on Fox Chicago News, uh, not excuse me, excuse me, Fox News itself, um, who gone on to say that if Trump is a racist, then why would he allow black people into his office to discuss these things with him? But that just proves, you know, our exact point again. 
um, it doesn't fit the narrative of the left, you know, as they continue to call for, you know, uh, protests everywhere. As many of you may have heard, they continue to call for leftist protesters to get in the face of Republican senators at, you know, in Congress or, you know, in restaurants or public locations. And, you know, for, you know, for the most part, you know, me personally, as many others do, I don't condone any of this. Again, it just goes to show how low the left is willing to go to try to get their biased leftist point across again. But, um, you know, with that being said, again, as I've said, we really need to pray, you know, you know, if any two are, you know, come together and agree upon something, it shall be done as our Lord tells us. And I mean, with that being said, again, uh, you know, let's continue to stay encouraged for, you know, whatever's going to happen again. Uh, you know, for those of you who haven't vote, you know, please do get out there and vote again. It's extremely important that you do. You know, it's a very, it's very important to let your voices be heard by voting because it's the only way, you know, to, you know, let your voices be heard you know, in the political sense of things, again, um, you know, no matter the outcome, um, it's definitely not looking good. But um, with that being said, my friends, if I happen to have any uh, breaking news or uh, further updates in regards to the news leading up to the uh, elections or the midterm elections come November 6th, you know, I will do my very best to bring that to you. And for those of you, again, watching this, for the for the uh, first time again, do feel free to subscribe for further updates or any breaking news if we uh, happen to have any again, my friends. And with that being said, I will be talking to you all later and uh, have a blessed one. Have a happy Halloween to those of you who will be out there. And again, my friends, uh, talk to you soon.